Singaporean director Chai Yi Wei is proudly wearing his heart on his sleeve. His object of love, Singapore. Not only is he making a film all about a prominent part of local music history, he is releasing it on National Day. His latest film, That Girl in the Pinafore, was even originally to be named a Singapore love story. This film is really my love letter to Singapore's past. It is a film about uh, a very important part about Singapore musical musical uh, journey, and uh, I want to do a tribute to it because people should be reminded of of this heritage that we have and remind ourselves why we love Singapore, lah. You know, really. Senyao, the popular folk songs of Singapore in the 90s, form the musical landscape of this movie. It sounds dated in comparison to the sophisticated beats of today's music, but the 35-year-old Yi Wei wants to remind today's youth about the glorious success of the Sinya movement. More specifically, Sinya refers to the simple acoustic Mandarin songs of the 1990s, with its humble beginnings in guitar strumming college students. <laughs> Hip or not, you know. So, but they don't know what I have in mind, lah. How, how long? That, 好像哇，比较 rock 啊，比较 hip 一点啊，对不对？那么在故事里头也是这样讲的。Characters like 啊，新谣啊，别乌边哎 ，no, it's not hip 啊。But 那个时候 ，even though it came out, uh, the arrangements for 新谣 ，even back then when it came out, it was not very hip to be granted. But I think 是他的精神 that 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 uh touched a lot of the Young people of that time, Xie Ho showed everyone that hey, it's possible because Xie Ho was the first Singapore Chinese song that made it to number one in the Chinese pop charts. That girl in the pinafore cost a cool one million dollars to produce, and Yi Wei had gone to great lengths to attract investors. The topic of Sin Yao seemed pretty boring, so the director had to play up the film's more appealing elements, like its love story. So that investors would catch on. I just hope to make the money back for my uh, investors. I think above all, they should be the ones uh, to be applauded uh, for taking this project up because almost all of them, the investors, were Ang Mo Pais, and they didn't know what was Xin Yao. And I, the way I sold them was,、oh, I'm doing a love story based on local. You know, I wasn't selling the Xin Yao so much, but. but Once the music parts came in, they don't even know these were old songs. They were like, "Wow, no, the songs are really good. They're really cool." And 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 I'm grateful that、uh, they took the risk. And it seems even the young cast themselves have been won over by the simple beauty of Xin Yao. 以前的新谣，他们的歌真的是很有意义的。然后现在的歌就是一直 repeat， 一直 repeat， 一直 repeat。来，呃，我不需要 no offense to any other song. I'm gonna you know try to. Make an example like call me maybe, just call me, just call me, just call me, call 到没有明天，没有没有今天，明天后天这样子。他的歌词很单纯，就纯粹就很像那种校园的那种朋友友谊啊，那种对他他歌词就是很很朴实、很简单的，不像现在好像有些呃比较多流行歌曲，就也不是说内容很复杂，可是有些他的歌词呃是没有什么意思的。Yi Wei says that his film gives a fresh new sound to the Sin Yao songs of the past. Let's take a look at how different the classic song "Si Shui Tang Liu" sounds in this flick compared to its original by composer Liang Wen Fu. <laughs> Like the catchy new version of the old classic, don't forget to catch that girl in a pinafore in cinemas on National Day. <laughs>